The Institute for Faith and Freedom at Grove City College presents Meet the Scholars with your host, Senior Student Fellow Libby Krieger. Welcome back to the final episode of Season 2 of Meet the Scholars. I'm Libby Krieger and today I'm joined by Dr. Jason Edwards. Dr. Edwards is Professor of History here at Grove City College with an expertise in agrarianism and history and philosophy of education. Thank you so much for joining me today, Dr. Edwards. Thank you so much for having me. Well, to start off, I'd love to ask about your HUMA 200 or Western Civilization class, a required humanities course here at Grove City College. What do you hope students will glean from your undertaking of Western Civilization? In a, in a word, gratitude to, to me. No, not, not to me, but, but gratefulness and gratitude really is, I think, the number one attitude that I hope is developed uh, in, the, in the class. If we go back famously, infamously, to my mind, to 1990, for instance, people were famously chanting, hey, hey, ho, ho, Western Civ has got to go. And I think a lot of the troubles that we've seen in the past few years are, frankly, a manifestation that we're reaping that whirlwind. Uh, so I like to mention that at the beginning of, uh, of the course and along with it, uh, kind of a, a snappy retort that I saw on a t-shirt, I think, one time that said, well, besides monotheism, Christianity, democratic government, the rule of law, science, space travel, computers, what has the Western world ever done for us? And so that's, that's true, and I really want, uh, you know, we live in a time of just unmatched freedom, unmatched wealth and prosperity and comfort, and a lot of people can't think of anything to do with it but just whine. And so if I can foster some appreciation for the real heroes, uh, for the real people who have made real sacrifices throughout Western civilization's history and develop an appreciation and a gratefulness in some students' hearts, I've, I've had a good day. That's great, and I'm sure we're one of the few institutions left this day and age that really try to instill some sort of appreciation for Western civilization. Um, so once students leave Grove City College, they're going to be entering in a world that's increasingly more secular. Um, so how do you equip them to be Christians in that secular world? Right. Well, first, I guess I would push back ever so slightly in that I don't believe there is a secular world. Ultimately, God's in control, and so there's not a true secular world out there. But we do go into a fallen world, which I know is what you're, you're referencing, and that's, that's tough. So some of the things I've said already, I think, are ways to prepare for operating in that uh, secular fallen, fallen world. So you know that truth exists. Uh, we know that God is there, uh, that we know that God has blessed us and given us uh, things and that we should ap appreciate uh, in uh, the world. So I think we, we should start there, <clears throat> but uh, further things that we wrestle with, I, as I, I'm on record here as saying we live in this unprecedented, comfortable time, and we do, but one of the few things I think that is more challenging for us and for young people today is that we are constantly bombarded by brilliant people trying to convince us that unimportant things are the real important things of, of life. So we constantly have things marketed to us that, well, you can't be happy until you have this widget. Your satisfaction in, in life is going to come from some fancy title or a big bank account, and those are lies. God's incarnated us into a particular place he has given us family and friends. We are in contact with eternal things, scripture and other human beings. And the more time we spend on those is really where our sense of worth and value and, and enjoyment of life is, is going to come. So the students are, are young, and I, um, but I remind them we're all dying. Uh, we're mortal and we're going to die. So by definition, what we spend our time on is what we end up dying for. So I try to encourage them to go out there and die for something that's worthwhile. Well, I certainly appreciate your thoughtfulness there. Um, so looking forward, what sort of projects can we expect from you? Well, I've just had a really delightful 
past semester where I've gotten to do a lot of, of things that I in, in enjoy. And uh, for uh, the Institute for Faith and Freedom, I frequently also work uh, with kind of popular culture and like to look at the interaction of that. So I've started a series called the All-American Series where we're looking at uh, more traditional but uh, kind of uh, popular artists and uh, trying to evaluate them. Artists. Uh, you know, from the not distant past, but from the early 20th century and, and trying to extend uh, an appreciation uh, of those to the students. So uh, I did one on Willie Nelson, for instance, and I think I'll be doing another one now. We want to continue that series and I'll be doing Hank Williams and some others. I'm also excited at the, um, uh, a little bit related, uh, I'm excited that the college uh, chapel program has uh, developed what they call fivers. And so kind of allowing us to, uh, to, to really meet uh, with the students in a different uh, way. And uh, again, as I say, similarly, but I, I created one uh, that was called the Honky Tonk Gospel. And so how sin and salvation is portrayed in popular, in, in American country music. And so that seemed to go well. So I've been asked to, to continue to develop that. And so I think there may be a a honky-tonk gospel too. And then uh, more formally academic, I just uh, had a uh, colloquium that the uh, Intercollegiate Studies Institute had me put on uh, for the importance of place and the Southern agrarians. And uh, that was very well received. And so I've been asked uh, uh, this upcoming semester to put on another colloquium where we would continue that and, and look at the works of Richard Weaver. And so those are some of the things that I've been working on. Well, it sounds like you'll be busy for the next few months. Yeah, I'm going to have a good time. Thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you. And thank you so much for tuning in to season two of Meet the Scholars. Head to our website at faithandfreedom.com for more updates and check back to our YouTube channel for another season of Meet the Scholars. <laughs>